Hey guys, it's Cassie and I'm moving. Yes, I am. So, um, I decided that I will be vlogging the process of me packing everything up. This is just what we're gonna start with today. Funnily enough, we're not moving that far. And by not that far, I literally mean across the road. As in, if I look through my window, I can see the building that we are moving into. So, no need to get a van. Um, everything still needs to be packed up. I, part of the reason why we are moving is because, um, I'm a hoarder, we don't have enough space, it's all me, it's me, I'm the problem, we all know this. Me has like three pairs of shoes to his name and only uses two, you know? It's all me. We know, Jesus, oh no, don't touch it, don't touch it, no! Okay, so I'm going to go through all of these boxes, I'm going to put the original shoes inside the boxes and pack those if I'm keeping the boxes. If I'm not keeping the boxes, I'm going to get rid of the boxes and we're going to go through that whole process. Now, I would like to say, if anyone else is moving, this thing that I'm going to show you is a game changer. Ladies and gentlemen, Ikea bags, right? These, the Fracta, Fracta, I think that's, that's what they're called, are amazing. Let us begin. Right, how am I going to tackle this? Okay, so I mean like straight off the bat, this one I am not getting rid of the, the box, the bag, everything. Okay, so this is everything that my Birkin came with. I have even kept the air pockets. Don't ask me why, I feel like it's part of the process. So everything here I will be keeping, to keep that aside. Right, what was in here? Iran sandals. How much were these? Mmm, got them at the airport. Mmm, VAT. Okay, geez. Wonder if that's a privilege we'll ever be able to have again. Moving has to be like one of the most stressful things. I think it's actually uh, proven that it's one of the most stressful life experiences. Moving, getting married and getting a divorce apparently. I think those are the top three. Either that or I've made them up. I don't know how these were when I got them. Fine. This is going to be like a game of Tetris. All the sodden boxes. Next, another flat pack box that I cannot get rid of because it's too nice. What was in this? What was in this? Ah, my agenda. This is the thing, like my agenda, I use it every day. I'm not going to, I'll keep the receipt. I have a box where I keep all these. So I'm gonna keep that. I will also keep this lovely dust bag for another use, but like, again, this is a really nice, like, little box for keepsakes or souvenirs. Oh, come on. Okay, well, I broke it accidentally, so there's that. My boy bag. Should I do that now? Let me just put that now. Oh! So, all of the felt, all of that. Do we have a receipt? $5,200. Okay, okay. Uh, look. You know, you're not going to be like this forever. You'll survive, I'm sure, in the higgledy-piggledy way that I have packed you. Surely. Um, let's not, let's not say anything. Look at that. Can we just, that is just balancing off that. You strong little Canon PowerShot G7X little box you. Right, let's put this down before this all um, comes toppling down on me and gives me a concussion. See, look at that Ikea bag, that's one done there. Do you see, nice, easy to carry, got the longer handles. I'm sorry, Ikea, Ikea Fractor bag should have sponsored this move, look at that. Easy, right. I keep like all my souvenirs and stuff. I also keep all the birthday cards that I am ever sent every year. Um, again, hoarder. This was when Ni and I randomly met a guy at dinner who was Janelle Monet's manager and invited us to go and see her that night in London. It was fabulous. This was my medical bracelet for when I sliced my finger open. Fully healed, by the way. Only a little scar there, only a little scar. Still haven't got all the feeling back in that finger though. I'm not missing much. You see, I can't get rid of any of this stuff, okay? It all means something. It's all got a sodden place. So I have two of these souvenir boxes. They are very heavy. Okay, so I'm only going to put one in each Ikea bag. I don't want like one super heavy Ikea bag. But again, slip disc. Don't need to be worrying about these kinds of things. Another thing that I like want to keep all the stuff to is my Dior remote. This is a really unattractive position. 
personal clutch. So, because everything is like limited edition, it's like swaddling a baby or something. Versace chain reaction. Again, very cool box. I'm keeping that bag. I don't care what anyone says. I am that bitch. So we'll get everything in here. My gosh, there's many of these. I don't think I was meant to receive five booklets that all said the same thing, but I will keep them if you insist. We're not too dirty. We're not a filthy little raccoon. I do love a raccoon, actually. Why do they get such a bad rep? We don't have raccoons in England, but I wish we did. Oh, I've just shown you the gross bit that whole time. Sorry about that. I like the fact that raccoons have got little human hands. I don't know why. I just think it's adorable. I quite like any animal that's got like, little human hands. It's very endearing. Just like how they grab things. It is another day. I'm ill, right? And no, I'm not like ugh, ill. I am a bit ugh, ill, but it's a, it's a sinus issue. We are in my bedroom, which is an absolute mess. It's also my least favorite room in this flat. I hate it. Um, it's full of dust. As I mentioned, this entire place is like dusty central. This whole section, I need to go through these. These are shoes that don't necessarily have boxes. They're in bags. I've got the bags here. Bag them up, put these in a box. Da -da -da -da. Right, this is just, don't even, don't even. Everybody that I closet tour, closet tour. What closet, all right? Now, bags, they need to go into boxes. I've done some of them, but I need to do these. This half is knees. I'm not touching it. What's that? What is that? Okay, but anyway, he needs to go through that. He needs to decide what he's keeping and what he's not. I'm going to tackle my side. These I'm going to keep in there like little storage bins, whatever. They're easy to just transport. Got my coffee to fuel me. Tiffany and Kerr, thank you very much. Do we know the origins of Tiffany? Is it a last name? Was it somebody's daughter? <laughs> this is, to be very honest with you, this is a dress that my mum gave me that she bought and didn't want for herself. It's a James Purse dress and I don't want it. And I don't know if I want to, but I can't really admit that to her. Okay, so we've got, this is really sad. This is my resident funeral dress. It used to be a work dress, but now basically it's only good for if I am invited to a funeral. Grim. Now I need to like refold things, do things properly. Okay. A Vélager? Teal moment? Oh. Love her. She's gonna come back. Loved wearing her in my uni days, thinking I was all that in my A Vélager that I got off the outnet on a discount, because why not? This icon is, it was my prom dress when I was 18. Oh my gosh, 10 years ago. Get it, Queen. Vivian Westwood. I remember it was like 500 pounds or something. Absolutely stunning. Still wear it to this day. Well, I say still wear it. I've worn it once since then. But you know, not because I don't like it, because I absolutely still love it. It's purely just because the occasion hasn't been there. Um, but should the occasion arise again, this is why I can't get rid of any of my stuff. Not that I would ever get rid of you. You are absolutely stunning. Very Vivian Westwood and very fabulous. And then finally, oh my gosh, this was my 18th birthday dress. No, it was my 21st birthday dress, Cassie. This is a Giovanni special. Um, and my gosh, did I feel like I was in a music video. It is so heavy. I mean, just stunning. Smells very strange. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where this would be appropriate. Maybe I do need, no. No. She holds sentimental value. I simply cannot get rid of her. Now, I love the fact that that's a little star there. I like that you've done that. What? That's a, are you an adult? I don't know. I think we're good. Do we have to be fast? Move fast! Move fast! Success! God, you're gonna die. This is the most ridiculous thing. All of my dust bags are in here. Shout out to Hawaii, Galleria, Honolulu. Um, go forth, go forth, wreck my life. Do you wanna know what? Change your game plan. 
we're gonna go heavy duty things at the bottom i'm talking boots wedges all of that right so you case in point you are heavy duty you are da 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 Louboutin. do we have another bag for you no but we don't really need you i haven't worn you in years and i cannot let you go because the time will come you are my divorced no kids on the prowl ready to find man number two shoes welcome to day what feels like 47 and is actually packing day three or four um my belt's open let's not let's not pretend that you don't do the same all right today i am tackling this clothing rail, which currently lives in our living room, one of many reasons why we are moving. Um, here's my plan. I've got a box, right? Now, one could just roll this across the street, right? However, um, I don't like the sound of that. I think I'd just rather have it in a box and set it up. I don't think I'm going to have this like this in the new place. I think I'm going to put different things on it anyway. So it's like I'm doing the same job twice kind of thing. So let's just go for the things that I know I won't be using. Absolutely love you. You're stunning. St can't. So happy I got this. Um, but it's heating up a little bit, dare I say. I've said that now. It's going to drop about 10 degrees next week. I'm sure of it. A trench coat. Also, we do that one, all right. Somebody else wants to escape. Didn't think I made life that bad for you here, but all right. You, massive puffer jacket once again. Thank you so much for your recent service through the uh, appropriate season. Oh, this, glorious, look at that, look at that back. All, right. all sorts of stuff going on. D squared bomber jacket, hello. Is that a little bit noisy? I might just need to steam that or something but wow love that jacket coach varsity looking jacket great blue makes me feel like my boyfriend's on them on the i was gonna say my boyfriend's on the nfl team that doesn't make any sense me might be um my boyfriend's in the um in the in the college football team and i'm a cheerleader Oh. Leaving that out, definitely wear that. I'll definitely wear that before we move. I may die in this, mainly because I wear it so much. I love it. The perfect transitional season jacket. So, now I want to tackle Le Jewellerie de la Costume. So, these are in their boxes, so hopefully uh, in doing this exercise... <laughs> don't know where to put them. I will sort these out. Again, more boxes more boxes big box housing smaller boxes again need to go through all of those i have this massive trunk it's not open is it idiot you know what sod it let's jailbreak this bitch that's not the term you know what I mean. Seen them do this in the films. Should be easy. Line it up. There we go. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Get through. Are we open? Did that work? Oh, come on. How do people pick locks? I've packed it. I've packed the sodding key. Idiot. Oh, well, that was a sodding dud, wasn't it? This big box. What in here are my key pin? What is in this Louis Vuitton box? Oh my god, no. Nothing Louis Vuitton, I'll tell you that much. This is literally full of like stuff I used to wear when I was like 16. This Alexander McQueen Python, don't think that's real. Uh, wrap bracelet, dangly skull, looking very dirty because I wore that every single day of my life. Oh my gosh, it's limited edition. 234 out of 300, maybe it is Python. 2010. Okay, well, not getting rid of that. You can go into a tiny bit of hibernation until we move. You're in the wrong box. And I think you knew. You looked a little bit, you looked a little bit guilty as I had pulled you out there. You were like, oh, been fraternising with the Chanel when you are Fendi. Good morning. It's moving day. Um, I look like something akin to a mollusk because I woke up at five out of excitement for the move and uh, didn't really get much sleep 
and obviously I don't have any makeup on. However, I did get my eyes, my uh, eyes, my eyebrows microbladed the other day, so they're looking pretty fabulous, but it was not technically micro, whatever. So, all of this is packed up. This is shoes, um, stationery-esque kind of things. Uh, that rail, I really did, I should have taken those off, but whatever. Um, more stuff over here, all of these are down. I did want to get rid of this, but my new wardrobe won't arrive yet, so I need to use this for filming in the interim. Okay, so now I'm going to do the empty apartment tour of the old flat and I'm gonna walk you through it and I'm also gonna tell you like certain things we don't like about it so you walk in and this is what it's like now we liked this it's in the roof of a church in the roof of an old church so which is kind of cool but the ceilings are crazily high you know when we first moved in we were like ah, high ceilings yes love that in reality one word for you dust I can't get up there. Nobody can, right? So there's that. Um, also, because of the slanting, it cuts out a lot of space. So even though our current flat probably isn't too much bigger than this, the rooms just feel bigger because we don't have any of that. Um, I don't, this bed was awful, just straight up. Anyway, so this was the wardrobe that was shared between Nee and I, right? I used to have all my bags here, stuff some old shoes in there. I sort of had from here onwards, and then Nee was there as well. Um, fine closet space. I will probably do a closet tour of my new in my new place. It's a one bedroom, but they've done like a toilet and a bathroom situation. So, I mean, what is there to tell you? It's a toilet. <laughs> We've got tiny storage cupboard. I somehow managed to put all of my Renault suitcases in, again, back in the corridor. Then we have the bathroom, right? Again, nice bathroom, yeah, situation, got a bath, that's all I'm bothered about. Yeah, great. Okay, then we move into here. Sorry it's super echoey, but also they never fixed this door, like, this thing is literally like, look at this. That's hanging off there. Oh no! Anyway, that's not my cross to bear anymore. So, obviously, a little decoration has fallen off there. Now, again, crazily high ceilings. This is pretty much a full change. The old flat. But thank you for your service. Much appreciated. Hope whoever moves in here has a wonderful time. Oh, very, very hot in the summer. Sweltering in the summer. That is the old flat. Ooh, hope you enjoyed this moving vlog, which I'm sure was a complete catastrophe from the word go because I've never done a moving vlog before. <laughs> I don't know what's appropriate to film or not and I didn't want to make it particularly boring with just time lapses of me packing things. So I just kind of left in what I deemed the most interesting parts. <laughs> I'm going to leave a link to another video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. I'm gonna fall. <laughs>